Hello YouTube, Ronan Kazi here with another video. Uh, today, back in the summit on Heroic, and I'm showing you floors that end of floor 59, clearing the floor, and then we're going to do floor 60, the bosses. And today we're talking about status effects. That's kind of one of the main things on the build uh, that I run, a mainly status effect kind of builds. <clears throat> So you see here I got the blue screen. When you have skills that you can reset relatively fast, so I know like every 13 seconds, I'm gonna be able to put some status effects on people using blue screen. On top of the creeping death I usually have, on top of vile, so a lot of my builds have some type of status effects on them. And uh, it's different than skill builds. Uh, for example, in the chem launcher line, uh, the riot foam is a status effect based and oxidizer is a skill based. So you might use the skill based oxidizer with a high DPS skill build, but you'll use status effects in the flame uh, with your status build. And so you'll see, uh, I'm sure when you're looking at other folks' channels and you're looking at all the different builds, I'm sure there's some sine wave about, you know, the status builds come up and down as builds that are maybe meta or should be meta or whatever. Um, what I would just say to you is, in general, those builds in a group, let's say you're starting to run with people that you, uh, maybe you're in a clan or maybe you have friends that you play with, it's going to help if one of the people is a status based, if you have a skill base, you have a weapon based. I think I told you before I ran all, I ran capital legendary with my sons and we all had the same builds. And while it's effective, it's a good build, it's not good when it's in every single spot. But status effects are great because depending upon your build, your build again. You're going to spread them, they mark the target, and they just help kill the mobs. And really, when you think about it, there's a couple other, you know, AOE, area of effect type of weapons. One of the builds is Negotiator, Negotiator's Dilemma, which I had tried earlier, and I found that uh, of like a certain set of DPS builds. That's a great one. It appeals to my idea where, you know, I mark a bunch of targets and then I do damage to all of them. And really, uh, unless you have grenades or you use your special weapons, you know, that's where you see that or a flamethrower or what have you. Uh, there's not, I, you don't think of this game in terms as you would like maybe a game like World of Warcraft or other MMOs where you have people that do aoe based damage and so i come from that background i love the division but i also like doing aoe damage so i think we're going to get through this floor and we're going to do the boss floor and the reason i'm saying all this because i'm going to set up you know what i'm doing i make my build for this vile jammer and part of it is to do just this with a scorpio vile with jammer with Creeping Death, this gives you the optimal kind of build to spread status effects. Blue screen can be used as well. Again, the summit's a great place if you're getting gear or if you're trying to do XP, you can customize the experience. It's like the subway and division. So now we're going to do multiple threats. So we're going to have like multiple bosses. On level 60, right, as you play the summit more, the floors are pretty similar. The encounter is a little bit random, but they're going to come out of that door eventually. So I'm throwing my shock traps over there. Again, with the vial, anyone that puts a status effect on themselves, when they shock themselves, they're going to trigger vial. So they're going to have a 10 second damage debuff on them and at this point with this build it's going to put 70,000 so it's going to put 700k for 10 seconds 
and not good, but an agent left, but hopefully... Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention, yeah, the golden bolt's going on, and uh, with weapon DPS, I have a faster weapon than I have with the shotgun, so if I do happen to get the golden bolt, it won't be as bad. So here, we're going to start looking at the status effects right now. So you can see that it's just spreading. That's creeping death. That's putting that on everyone. Once I go ahead and pop my skill, everyone's going to get it. And anyone that I had put blue screen on, they're going to have more status effects. So at this point, my comrades are taking care of the boss back over to the right. And I'm just focusing on locking this area down. And again, right, you can see I'm putting damage on everyone. I'm not the most prolific damage dealer in the group, but I'm doing a couple things. I'm doing crowd control, I'm marking them, and I am putting some damage. And so this kind of build, if you're in a group with people with weapons, uh, maybe this, like I've told you before, it's pretty easy to get this build to rev this up. Eclipse Protocol is great for doing this to start, and then you can, you know, migrate into more exotic type of builds for it. So again, today we're talking about status and status effects, doing a boss floor here on the summit. I appreciate everyone that's uh, helping to make this channel grow. I really appreciate everyone. I appreciate when you guys do comments. I know that you don't have to put comments, but again, thanks everyone and see you later.